Hello, everybody, and welcome to Woodbridge, the best town around. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of this great town, and we're here today for the always pleasant task of welcoming a new business to Woodbridge Township. In this case, we are at the Grand at Metro Park. That's a series of 355 apartments just off Route 1 behind Bed Bath & Beyond. Uh, easy walking or shuttling distance to Metro Park. Uh, this is a four-unit complex. Three units are up. Uh, and almost fully rented. The first two are fully rented. The third one's in process, and the fourth building is starting in the spring. So this has been a tremendous development. Uh, what it's proving is something we've been saying for a long time. People want to live in Woodbridge Township because as soon as these buildings get built, they're rented. They're actually rented in advance. People signing up for what they know will be built shortly. So today we were at Local Coffee and Company, L-O-K-A-L, -L. I'll ask the owners what the K means instead of a C. I'm sure there's a good explanation. Carol thinks it's because they serve K-cups. I don't think so. Um, that was her theory. But in any event, uh, this, is a, a, this is just a stunningly beautiful complex. The um, amenities here are just second to none. Uh, the, the common spaces, the gym, uh, the kind of little uh, areas where you go to rest. They have a courtyard with rooms overlooking the courtyard with a big screen. Uh, it's just it's just terrific. And this is, I think, the first of all the retail, right? First of the retail operations to open. There's room for uh, how many? Many? Four more? Four more, so a total of five different retail centers. And of course, I think the, in apartments with a bunch of people commuting, the first thing you want to see in your building is a coffee shop, and now they have one, local coffee shop, a local coffee and company. And uh, its journey began, uh, I'll read this, the uh, uh, proclamation real quick. A local coffee and company, an artisan coffee shop whose journey began in 2018 with an unwavering commitment to sourcing and acquiring high quality coffee from all over the world, is celebrating its arrival in Woodbridge Township with the grand opening. So I'm going to turn this over to George. <coughs> oh, excuse me. He is the owner of, uh, <coughs> oh boy, oh boy, local coffee and company. And George, take it away. Tell me all about why you came here, how you got in the business, what your history is, and then get into the hours and the kind of different things. It's all yours for as long as you need. Sure. So my name is George Ariola. I'm the owner of Local Coffee and Company. <coughs> and what brought me here is, uh, you know, this is one of the first modernization projects of Woodbridge that has currently happened in the township. And it is one of the biggest. And we're right in front of the Woodbridge Corporate Park, right off of Route 1. You know, this is a very modern facility. All the amenities, you know, from the pool to the open movie theater courtyard and the gymnasium in every building. I mean, it was kind of a no brainer. And being that we're surrounded by so many corporate chains, you know, like Dunkin' Donuts, Starbucks, I was eager to bring a good quality artisanal cup of coffee to the township of Woodbridge. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and we welcome you with uh, arms wide open and come try our great coffee. Thank All right, you. so tell me, I'm not a coffee drinker. Never had a cup of coffee in my life. <laughs> uh, you said, what's the word you use? Artisan, artisan. It's it's an artisanal. Artisanal. I don't know what that word means, but explain so, it and tell me why you're different and where in the world your coffees are from. So what some of these big chains do is, uh, you know, they go to some of these farms and let's say in brazil where some of their coffees are not so specialty as let's say in in certain regions of guatemala or ethiopia or, or parts of colombia so what they do is they just buy in bulk and it's very low quality what we do here is we focus on single origin which is literally coffee that's tended by a small family and not a large corporation and they just perfect the bean and by the time it gets roasted here we, the roastery is in brooklyn called city of saints by the time it gets roasted it just turns the bean into something magical and it's it's very flavorful fruitful and it, you just have to taste it for yourself so do you mix an ethiopian bean with a guatemala bean with a colombia bean or do you have like ethiopian coffee guatemala coffee how do you do that well as i said our our coffee single origin what that means is it's only from one farm okay. so All right. it literally comes from you know small family owned farms and you know it gets roasted in brooklyn and we serve it here so somebody can get a cup of coffee that came from beans in ethiopia correct and somebody get a cup from guatemala yes pretty cool 
Um, you say this uh, proclamation says 2018. What have you done before this? You're a relatively young guy. Uh, is this your first venture into your own business? So, yes, uh, it is. We do have a small kiosk in uh, Charleston Airport in Charleston. South Carolina. Yep. But, um, you know, ever since I was a young kid, you know, I've always been in, in the culinary industry and I started as a professional chef and eventually made my way into the food and beverage management. And here I am today on, you know, some of my first ventures. So why, why Woodbridge and why New Jersey if you're from Charleston and your history is outside the state? I'm actually uh, born and raised in New Brunswick. Oh, Georgia. there you go. Now we get to the bottom of the story. All right. All right. See, Much better here than New Brunswick. I should be an investigative reporter, all right? I get to the bottom of the story. So, all right. Now, New Brunswick's an up-and-coming city. It's yeah. already there, actually. It's not up-and-coming anymore. Right. I think New Brunswick is a model for downtown development. I think it's yes. just beautiful. So... Did you think about opening there? Uh, well, as you know, um, New Brunswick is mainly a university city. So it's, you know, many times when the students go away, you know, the city Business dies. The city gets kind of deserted. All right. Good and we're, we're more around the clock. Yeah. yeah. And right, I've been terrific. a Woodbridge resident for over five years now. Oh, you have? Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. And now get back to the L-O-K-A-L. What's the deal with the K? Just wanted to be so different. So my wife here, Suzanne, she's uh, from the Czech Republic. And in her country, locale means a place to gather. Oh. Wow, that is great. I, mean, so. I never would have guessed that. <laughs> no, we were no. trying to figure it out on the way. And boy, we were not anywhere near Czechoslovakia with that one. <laughs> so... But uh, it is a play on words as well, so it's local, yeah. local yeah. coffee. Sure. Yeah, all right. Maybe well, that's where we got local from. Right. <laughs> it might be, it might be. We yeah. might have stole it from, yeah, it might be uh, the origin of the word. Right. Yeah. Uh, this is Nancy Drum. She is a councilwoman in town. Uh, she's also the membership director of the Chamber of Commerce. If she hasn't talked to you already, she will soon. Um, Hi, George. <laughs> <laughs> we, she tries to get all the new businesses to join, and it's a very, very worthwhile group. You make an awful lot of contacts there. Uh, you'll have possibly an event here if you join and exp you know introduce people to your uh, to your shop. And th this commercial, it's not, I'm not allowed to call it a commercial. This video will uh, be on our TV. Uh, station and people will just find out about it. So it's good to get out there and the Chamber of Commerce is a very good venue. Thank I'm you. also joined for the benefit of anybody on TV who hasn't been watching for the past 13 years and doesn't know who these two ladies are. <laughs> uh, Carolyn Ehrlich is a former councilwoman who now is the chief of staff, my number one person with me in the office, and she also runs all of our redevelopment projects, which the Grand was one. And then she works hand in hand with Marta Levsky, who's our planning director, uh, who handles all the inspections, the uh, permits, and all the actual building aspects of it. And she also gets very involved in economic development by, by virtue of her uh, presidency of the Woodbridge Economic Development Corporation. We just had a great event the other night where we had about 150 people at the new theater in Avenel talking about all the things going on in town. So you're coming to Woodbridge at a great time. You're coming to a great spot. Like you say, there's... I see building E, so that's five big buildings right across the street of people who can swing by here on the way to work, especially if they grow to like your coffee. And of course, when you've got 350 people, five apartments with one or two or more people in it, you've got a built-in market. So this is a great opportunity for you. I want to congratulate you, present you with this proclamation, which I, if I ever come back here and don't see this hanging, uh, I, will, I will pull your certificate of occupancy and you will be forced to close. Uh, so let me move this behind me here. We'll all get together. We are about to cut the ribbon on local coffee and company at Three Ronson Road in the uh, the Grand and Metro Park new apartment buildings. What building is this? Three. Three. Okay, we're in building three. There's a beautiful sign out front. You can't miss it. Are we ready? Yeah. Normally I ask the kids to count down from ten, but you probably can't handle that. Let's count down from three. Three. Wait, wait, wait. Do this again. <laughs> Let's count down from three. Three. three two, two. One. Welcome to Woodbridge. Woo!